As storied and legendary as they come, the career of the incomparable Louis Shelton is one that will ring throughout history as much as the iconic riffs he is known for. For just under half a century, Shelton's signature smooth guitar riffs and talents as a producer have made their way into the works of Barbara Streisand, Whitney Houston, John Lennon, Lionel Richie, Boz Skaggs, Stevie Wonder, The Jackson Five, Marvin Gaye, and countless others. Born in Little Rock in 1941 and raised in North Little Rock, Louis Shelton spent his early years teaching himself to play guitar. His young sights set on becoming a professional. Studying guitar masters like Chet Atkins, Jimmy Bryant, Johnny Smith, and Wes Montgomery, he learned their stylings by listening to the radio at night. At the ripe age of 12, Shelton's talents were getting noticed. He joined the Dixie Mountaineers, performing daily on local radio and TV stations. After seeing Elvis Presley perform in the 1950s, Louis' thirst grew for all things rock and roll. In 1958, he moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and met fellow Arkansan Glenn Campbell. He decided to follow Campbell to Hollywood. That move soon paid off in a big way. Louis Shelton made his first major splash by helping create and market the Monkees in their famous television show. Shelton assisted the Monkees by developing a unique, iconic sound that made their first album a hit. In fact, Louis Shelton wrote the opening riff to their famous song, Last Train to Clarkston. In the 60s and 70s, Louis' musical reputation and circle of influence grew. As the producer for pop rock hit makers Seals and Crofts, Shelton's Midas Touch turned the group's work into five gold selling albums, including Summer Breeze, which had an 18 week stand on the pop music charts in 1972. Between 1984 and 1996, Louis and his family enjoyed life down under, attempting to retreat from the fast pace of L.A. In 2009, he was inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville. And in 2013, we proudly induct Louis Shelton into the Arkansas Entertainers Hall of Fame. We're lucky to call him one of our own.